Hey guys, it's Googly Gum with another ROM review and this time I've got the Pure Nexus ROM for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Pure Nexus ROM well, it has been around for some time now, let's just keep that in mind. And uh, it's been one of the most talk-ish and smoothest ROMs available for any device which I've tried it on. Uh, previously, I tried it on my Nexus 5. I believe I've also tried it on my S3, I'm not really sure, but it has been a great experience and uh, uh, it's been out for oneplus 3 some while back but uh, it wasn't updated now a new developer has gone ahead and updated it to the latest version so here you have it let's get started now first of all uh, launcher is the nexus launcher now i have updated it the version which comes with it is the nogat style launcher not the oreo which is available with new pixel 2 but anyways it is there let's go to the about phone page and in the about phone page you can see it is 7.1.2 still the security patches is still august which is quite a while back i'm not really sure why that is current version is lineage it this is the developer of it which is viper x venom 8888 and he is a great developer for just getting it out uh, this is the 15th version so that is the latest version as of right now so that is there let's see status is enforcing as with no gat pure nexus rom the name says that it is a very stockish experience to nexus but you would be wrong it does have a very very good custom selection of features and i really like that now right off the back everything works uh you don't have any issues with anything i have tested this for about two days now and i have been using this day and night no issues at all just works i didn't really have any issues bath life is actually commendable i will get into that a little bit later but let's get to the settings now first of all all the settings are inside this pure nexus settings so you can get there the lost in options you do have all of these options double tap to sleep lost in towards media cover art a lot of charging info it also has fp unlock which i really miss in oreo these days so that's something there notification drawer can also be customized it does have column and row for portrait and landscape there is no small quick setting character or whatever it is it's not an option available but hey this is what you get it does work out really well the recent application you do have a clear all button if you don't really need to have that also memory bar can be customized Status bar options are available for battery settings and also battery bar is available if you're into that. Clock settings are available and I have selected my favorite one so that does work out really well. Network graphic indicator is also there and you can customize that. Status bar icon is available, you can customize whatever appears and also VOLT is available as you can see there. I just like it. Uh, many people seem to hate it but hey, I like it. Double tap to sleep on the status bar, brightness control, show notification count and show Bluetooth battery status on the status bar. That's also available. Now button customization is available, there is hardware button customization for back home and recent button for single long tap and double tap. Now this is the AOSP or uh, the, the better styled option which is which has more options than normal stuff so I really like that, it does work out really well. Also backlight controls are available, you can customize that, that's really nice to have. Navigation bar is available and you can customize that, it does have pixel nav bar animations and all that. I personally don't use navigation bar so I can't really talk too much about that. Power menu is available and you can customize that, should work out really well. Volume rocker customization is available with cursor control which is really great. Display options, you do have extended desktop, uh, wake up on plug, three finger screenshot is great. Notification light and battery light can be customized. Also dashboard options are available for uh, suggestion, condition and remove tile summaries. Media notification option, double tap for camera, that is available. Power notification control can be enabled. Pick notification can be customized for timeout and snooze. Uh, uh, ticker is available and low battery notification can also be enabled. In the miscellaneous option, you do have toast icon and scrolling cache enabler. You can customize that. That does work out really well. In the change log, you can see what all is changed. And now you, see, you can see this is the latest version, 15.11. And there is Google camera enabled and all that. I'll get to that in the next section. And there is a uh, Pure Nexus updates which is not working as of yet. Now in the other options, there are stuff which is normally what you would expect out of a Nougat ROM. It does have ambient display which is the other style of ambient display which has double tap to wake on those which is really great. Also battery status can also be seen in the ambient display which is nice. Also fun and display can be customized which is normal. One thing I noticed is that there is a double cast option which is uh, strange but that is one of the glitches which I've seen but it doesn't really affect productivity anymore. Now there is gesture options you can customize that. There is device gestures for normal stuff which is the OnePlus 3 stuff. 
Also, ambient display gestures are also available for pickup, hand wave, and pocket mode if you are someone who uses that. The tri state gestures are available for the LL slider, and that does work out really well. It's not the awesome sliders like in many other ROMs, but it's really good to have. And I believe that is pretty much it in the features department. And as you have seen, it is a fairly feature rich ROM. It does have enough features to keep someone like me entertained. I've been having a blast with it. It has all the, all the customization options which I want in a basic ROM. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for features because it's great. Now comes the battle life and the battle life has been surprisingly good for me. I've been using this and it's been really good. Uh, the active drain was about 11 to 12 percentage in normal usage and that is great. I really like that. And also idle drain was about 1.3 to 1.4 which is also great. I really like it. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for battle life. Now comes the end to the benchmark score or the performance aspect of it. I got an average score of about 147,918 which is on the higher side of things. 149,918 is, uh, is the current score 149,112 is the current score which is the last score which I received uh, which is on the higher side but the average is about 147,000 or 148,000 which is on the higher, higher echelon of ROMs which I've tested which is great I really like it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for performance also. Now comes the stability of the ROM. Of course, as I've already said, stability is top notch. It works, there's no issues, everything just works out really well as you would expect out of it. And I'm really happy with the stability of it. Everything just works really well. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for stability. Now comes the camera and as I've said, uh, this comes with Google camera. It just works out really well. I've been taking photographs and it does have the Auto HDR mode which works out really well again. But this one is the more uh, less featured version but more secure version. This is a 1.4 version of it. It's going to be a little bit less featured but it's a foolproof system which most people can use it just like that and I really like that. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for camera. Now the aesthetics. Uh, aesthetic, well, you have uh, OMS support and uh, it just works. I, I, I don't really have any issues with that, but normal ROMs also have OMS support. That's nothing too uh, drastic. So I'm gonna give it 6 out of 10 for aesthetics. Now comes the overall experience and as I've already said, this has been a blast to use. It has enough features to keep me entertained for a long while and uh, it just works really well. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Now let me show you guys the boot animation which is also pretty cool. Here is the boot animation, but uh, I want to hear the uh, boot sound or whatever it is. I'm, I'll just move my mic closer to this one now. So hopefully you guys heard that. It's uh, pretty nice. I really like it. So that's something there. So there you have it, guys. The Pure Nexus ROM. It's a great ROM. I really like it. It just works out as I want it to. It's just amazing. I really like it. So yeah. I guess that much is it about the ROM. The final score is going to be uh, 7.18134715 which is going to translate to 7.2 out of 10 and that is the score which I'm gonna give it. And as you might think or understand, it's a great score, it's a great ROM to be uh, frank and I really like it. Great daily driver and I would recommend this for anyone. And I know the developer is doing a few more things with this ROM and I am really happy to see that. I will be waiting for it and I will be also checking that out too. Yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Then hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.